Hey guys, it's Adriel from Style Assisted and today I'm going to do this basic rosy look with a bold lip and a lot of the products are e.l.f. because you guys have requested them so if you want to see what products I used and how I got this look, stick around. Alright, so I am starting with bare skin as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and take a hair tie and tie my hair back so that it is out of my face. That is the one disclaimer about short hair is I must be able to do this. <laughs> Otherwise I'll lose my mind. Alright, so I'm going to start with a primer. I'm starting with a primer that I was sent. This is called Nano Blur, but I also use the Smashbox Green Primer. I use the Makeup Forever um, Mattifying Primer. I have the Hourglass Primer. I have a lot of different primers. Um, I've tried the e.l.f. I've tried the... Um, what was that brand that I tried? NYX. You know NYX? I've tried that before too. So this is just a mattifying, pore minimizing primer. I haven't tried it in a while, so we're going to try this and see if it works. Alright, primer on. I let it get a little tacky um, and then dry just a bit so that your makeup sets the way that it's supposed to on it. And then for foundation, I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Now, this is in the color Fair Beige, I believe. Yes, this is the lightest they make. It's still not technically light enough for my skin, but it's the closest. The lightest foundation I've been able to find is this. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet, Matte Velvet in the shade... Alright, so it's just not going to tell me. I'm sure it says somewhere on it where I just can't see it. doesn't say at the bottom. Anyway, I will link the color below. This is much lighter, but I'm going to use this one today because I don't know why. Anyway, so I'm going to do probably a little bit larger than a pea-sized dollop on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use a makeup brush today, but you guys can use whatever you want. This is the e.l.f. I think actual foundation brush. I'll link it below. But I can use this, I can use a beauty blender, it doesn't really matter. Um, what I initially usually do is dot it all over my face just so that my brush doesn't pick up too much all at once because I really just want it to spread stuff around and blend it, not necessarily distribute the product from my hand, if that makes any sense. It probably didn't because we all know. Once I've been sufficiently dotted like a crazy person, look like I'm a Star Wars character. I just take the brush and pull the rest of it off of the back of my hand and then just start swirly blending. Alright, this is super boring. Anyway, so I thought I would do a tutorial for you guys today just showing you the newest e.l.f. products that I got sent. Some of them are old, some of them are new, but it's just sort of a get ready with me pulling whatever I have sitting out. So, that's the reason behind today's makeup tutorial being random and not with a specific theme. Because I've had a lot of you ask about the e.l.f. stuff that I wear daily and I don't always stick it in my tutorials, so I thought I would just show you kind of what I use and how, and then also do a little bit of new product because they sent me a new eyeshadow that I want to try and they sent me a new lipstick that I want to try. Okay, pretty blended. I mean, we could always blend better, but whatever. All right, the concealer I'm using is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Chantilly. I love this. It's been in every makeup tutorial for the most part my entire YouTube career because I love it. It works really well. It's incredibly light. And we all know I need that. Now, another incredibly light is concealer is the It Cosmetics, no, the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. And this is in the shade Ivory. You can see it's well used. Um, this is also very, very light. You guys see that? Very, 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 very light. So that works as well. Um, so that's always an option for you if you don't have access to NARS, because I know Ulta doesn't carry NARS Cosmetics, but Ulta does carry 
the Amazing Cosmetics, and I really like it. I need to try the Bye Bye Under Eye, but for some reason I thought it wasn't light enough when I was trying it out when I was actually in the store, which is always frustrating. For those of you that actually have darker skin and can wear lots of different foundations and concealers, get excited. Like seriously, you have no idea the struggle and the annoyance of trying to find something that matches and nothing's dark enough. <laughs> or light enough. I guess we're light enough. I have friends that are um, African, like legitimately African, and none of the foundation is dark enough for them. And so they're like, how hard is it? I'm like I'm preaching. Preaching to the choir over here. All right, so I received the Illumination palette, but I already have one, so I'm gonna give this away to you guys. So when this video goes live, I will actually have a post up on my Instagram with this picture, and you can just like and comment to enter, and I will send it to one of you. Because obviously, I this is like the fifth, fourth or fifth one I've purchased, because I love it. All right, now I'm using an e.l.f. blush brush, and I'm taking the lightest shade right here. As you can tell, I use it all the time. And this I actually used to set my under eye concealer. If you are fair and pale, like I am, you've seen tutorials with people using banana powder, but have never been able to use it because banana powder looks too yellow on our skin tone. This is perfect. It's actually a really, really light shade, but it has a tiny yellow tint, so it works as banana powder for super white people, <laughs> and I love it. And the color shade is perfect for under the eyes. This is my dupe for the Hourglass. Just, okay, so here's the old one. I used it way past pan. This is the Ambient Lighting and Ethereal Light. I just purchased a new one. Let me get that out. And so here's this. This is sort of a white pink. And this is more of a white yellow. But you can use either to set your under eye, and I do. I use the yellow. And the reason I use one of these to set it instead of the typical just random Laura Mercier or I have it somewhere around here. Um, the e.l.f. setting powder as well is sometimes I just like a little glow underneath your eye because I blend that down and it gives a really nice highlight sort of shimmer in areas that you usually look pretty drab. Now you can use the same powder to set the rest of your face if you're not a fan of your whole face looking glowy. Sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. So I just put a little bit of the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Obviously I'm making a gigantic mess. And I'll just set the rest of my makeup because it's sort of a necessity in my world because my skin starts out dry, gets oily. It is basically combination, like the worst kind of combination. All right, now, you could be done if you want to. You can highlight with this and contour. Now. As I mentioned before, numerous times, as a fair skin person, you don't necessarily highlight and contour, you just sort of contour because you're already really, really pale. Um, so I use this shade right here to contour, and sometimes I will mix that with the lighter shade just to make sure I don't have too much. Tap it off. This is the angled blush brush, and I'll just go right in on my cheekbones and not a lot I don't really do a lot that much especially in the winter time because I don't want a full chiseled crazy looking contour I just want enough of a separation and definition alright now I also will take this just the darker shade and do up here and the benefit is that since the rest of your face is matte where you applied that setting powder you give I mean I'm pretty glowy all right so that is all of the powder now on to blush I like the Tarte Amazonian clay in 
Natural Beauty. It's my favorite. It's been my favorite for years. So I'm going to use this. If you can see, it's really red. It's my favorite in the wintertime. I'm going to add some brightness just to the apples of my cheeks because since I already contoured in the back, sometimes you can use your blush to contour a little bit, but I want to make sure that I have some color on my face. Ooh. Also, don't do what I about just did and took it straight from the pan to my face. Always tap off excess powder, otherwise you end up looking like a clown and I can't even begin to tell you how terrible it looks once you get out. And... Can you hear the wind outside? Can you hear that? It's insanity. It's like 45 mile an hour wind and it's like 20 degrees outside, so it hurts your face when you go outside. All right, next up, eyes. Let me grab those. Okay, brows, I am going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Caramel. I always say it's Auburn, it's not, I lie. It's Caramel. And I just do short strokes just on the base of my brow and then fill in short strokes throughout. I don't wanna just have a harsh line and I don't want to fill up from the top down because that ends up looking more fake and your brows are naturally more sparse in the middle where I'm filling in right now. So if you want them to look natural, don't do a ton in the middle. Just use blending to kind of blend it out. And obviously you know how comfortable you are with a dark brow. So do whatever you're the most comfortable with. I tell a lot of people to start with a lighter brow and then the more you do it, if you feel like you want to go darker, then you can. But there's nothing worse than intense brows and you look at pictures and you're like, oh, that's attractive. Alright, so I'm using the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow Trio in Peach Please. Let me open this. That was loud. Alright, so this is just one of their little baked trios. It has a brown, a goldy cream, and then a pink. So what I'm going to do is grab oh, a fluffy brush. This is an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, but I'm going to do all over, so I'm going to get something that has a little bit of power behind it. So you just sort of, I always, breaking up the first part of it is always the hardest because since it's baked, it's not as loose. And then my entire brow, I'm going to go over with the cream. And some people use this just for the inner corners, which is fine. But I like having a base for my entire eye because it ends up looking better in the end. All right. And if you're pale like me, you can do this color all the way around because your face can handle it because you're just a shade darker than this color. All right. I didn't want to do a ton, so just a little bit on both. Now I'm going to take the peach shade right here and work some of that off. It's sort of a rose gold, honestly, and it looks like um, if you guys have ever seen Clinique's Lucky Penny, have you ever seen that shade? It's actually really, really popular in their eyeshadow. And I'm just going to put this in the crease, but since I'm using a big brush, it sort of goes everywhere, which is the point. I really want it to just be on the outer edge of my eye. And I'm trying to stay clear of going into the darker part because I'm going to use that as an accent color. The best thing about these trios is you can actually travel and it's like a tiny little palette in one package, which I love. And the colors are already made to complement each other so you don't have to worry about them not See, you can tell there's just a little bit of color on both sides. You don't have to worry about them not working. Okay, this is an e.l.f. flat. You can see. It's a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go into the top part, this dark, dark brown. I'm going to pull a little bit off and just do eyeliner with it. If you are not a fan of eyeliner or you don't know how to do eyeliner or you feel like you mess it up all the time, using shadow as an eyeliner 
is a fantastic way to start and just get used to where you put eyeliner, how much you like. It's very forgiving because it's powder and not a liquid line or a gel line. And you don't have to go all the way across. I usually just do outer corner. So there's just a little bit. I go a little bit underneath on both sides. Not a ton, as you can see. Tiny bit. And then you can build up and out if you want to. If you want your cat eye to be a little bit more dramatic, go for it. If you want to just do the line, the actual lash line, then that's fine. All right, so you can skip your eyeliner because you did that. I'm going to curl my lashes. I hate curling. Do you guys hate this? I always feel like I'm going to like get my eyeball or I miss lashes and then it's a debacle. And I don't do super hard. I just do a little bit because I am not a fan of the eyelash curler. I mean, I love the way it looks, but my goodness, it stresses me out when I'm doing it. I'm sure there are many of you that are like, I have no issue with that, Adriel. You're just a spaz. Fair enough. All right, I'm using my Steady L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is in black brown. I have tried every kind of expensive mascara known to man, and I keep coming back to this. Because the other ones, if they're good, they're not that much better. And the price is like five times more expensive. Yes, five times. And you're supposed to throw your mascara away, I think every three months maybe, because it's near your eye. Oh, this? Yes. If you guys are ever wondering about that happening, happens to me all the time. If I'm, for example, talking and putting on my mascara at the same time. What you do is you let it dry completely. And then you go back and just wipe it away. You have to let it dry completely though. If you try to mess with it while it is still wet, it will just smear everywhere and mess up your makeup. So just leave it, have no fear. You're not the only person that does that. Everybody does that. But maybe this one will be a little more careful. Now I'm trying to make sure I get down to the base of my lashes for sure and then wiggle up from there. That's the reason mascara looks different on some people than it does on others, is because you really need to work from the base up. Alright, now I do a little bit in my outer corners. With just the leftover mascara that was already on the wand from me replenishing. Leaving this alone. I'm going to try their Baked Highlighter in Blush Gems. Now you get it open. And I'm actually going to put this over my blush that I already have, just to give it a little bit of a highlight. Now, I'm going to grab this e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. In case you haven't noticed, most of my brushes are e.l.f. I love them. Because they're cheap, they're easy to clean, they're synthetic, so they dry fast. I love them. Okay. Give a little bit of a glow. Looking pretty glowy today and I like it. Alright, now as we're still waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna do lipstick. This is the e.l.f. Velvet Matte Lipstick in the color Bold Berry. And this sucker is, they don't lie with the name. It is a bold and it is a berry. And obviously I'm not talking while I'm doing this on purpose. Lighting is a bit weird because it's so bright outside so my lights are not, the computer's picking up all the bright light back there. The computer and the camera and so it's hard for you to see because it's so bright okay let me take care of this and I will be right back all right this is the final look I just literally took the same brush that I had applied the highlight and just kept doing this there was a tiny bit of leftover black well mascara that wasn't going anywhere so I just took the very end of my q-tip and just lightly just pushed in that area went away and then I went over a little bit more with the highlight brush and this is the finished look I know my hair is kind of flat today but you know you do with what you can 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this mostly e.l.f. products look. I will continue to do more because I know you guys have requested them as I get products in. Um, but don't forget, I will also, over on my Instagram, at Style Assisted, will link this and you guys can win it. So you guys can have your own. It is my favorite. I travel with that because if it gets broken, it's under $10, so it's easy to replace. Um, the powder is incredibly finely milled and I love it. This post was not sponsored, but as I always say, I'm a member of the e.l.f. beauty squad, so they send me products to, for free to try, and I've had a lot of you guys say that you wanted me to actually show you the trying process of me getting new products, so there you go. This is my Happy New Year packet, so here's my broken Happy New Year's. Oh, that's not good, but oh well. <laughs> yeah. All right fix the hair. Alright, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or any tutorials that you want me to do, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The bottom button is right there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Out them because it really does look a lot better having lash extensions. And I wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like when I'm doing a tutorial without them. That way, if you want to up the glam factor, you can add lashes. But it's easy to replicate if you don't have to compare it to my crazy lash extension. We as